Good evening guys and girls. Um, I am uploading this video with some bad news I'm afraid. Um, today during uh, Saturday FPL Live, um, after our 3 o'clock uh, live stream, covering the events of what was going on fantasy football wise, um, we ended that stream um, as per normal, reacting to the you know the drama that was unfolding during the games. Um, I went, I was just about to leave actually, when I got a phone call from Steve-O, um, who informed me that he wasn't able to do a live stream and the live stream would have been for the Chelsea Man City game, uh, obviously covering the FPL drama that was going on there. Um, it would appear that we had a copyright strike issued against us um, before the stream even went live. I believe it was pretty much taken down instantly, um, but interesting, it was taken down manually. Uh, it was taken down by a French radio network and um, with no affiliation to um, anything that we use to obtain real-time updates in the in the F Premier League world in terms of goal updates um, obviously I'm very disappointed I'm quite I'm gutted I'll be, I'll be honest with you I'm gutted and so Steve-o um, I've been chatting with the YouTube creator support um, they can't do anything to help us um, other than just to suggest that we contact the the company who have filed this claim um, and speak to them about it. Essentially, me and Steve-O are two guys. I'm in my kitchen. He's in his bedroom. We stare or we look at our computer screens and we look at the webcams and the cameras that we have and we just talk about football and what's happening in football. Um, it's obviously not my place to decide whether or not this was justified. I know that um, there was, um, in the earlier game at three o'clock, I had some clips I played during our in intermission. So basically at half time, we took a 10 minute break and I played some funny clips at SMZ. One of our community fo uh, community um, members has um, had did over the, over the last year. And a couple of those clips had music. There was a, a music from Tom Jones on there and that kind of, got flagged for demonetization which is the big key is that if you have fair use content so if you use a clip of music or of even of of tv or whatever um as long as you have fair use of it like uh whether you're reviewing it or you're referring to it or using it as comedy content it's permissible under fair use um obviously this this is always judged by a court um, ultimately um, but the point I'm trying to make is that that was down as a content claim which would have that so there's a big difference between a content claim and actual copyright strike that stream that aired at three o'clock because I played the the funny humor clips got demonetized and the ads that are running on that will go to the uh, the music holders of um, Delilah by Tom James and I'm fine with that I'm perfectly fine with that I've got no issues with that but what I do feel is unfair is that that the stream at 5 30 that was supposed to go ahead to cover the the Chelsea Man City game that got immediately taken down manually by somebody who was working for a um a company um and we've now got a seven day ban from live streaming. We can still upload, um, but we just can't live stream. So tomorrow um, at 4.30, it's likely that we're gonna be on Twitch to do our live stream, um, just reacting to what's going on in that um, in, my, in the Sheffield United, Manchester United game. And um, it's a sad, sad situation that that I find us in. Um, obviously, the the copyright 
system is there to protect people from abuse um and it should be there and i completely agree that it should be um employed where and appropriate but unfortunately in my opinion it's not been employed correctly um i'm gonna speak to steve-o we'll look to change up a few things on the stream um i know in a few cases the late the radio on steve-o's stream does appear loud at times and obviously you know people might get upset about that um so we'll make sure that that's sorted out but generally speaking i just wanted to do the stream to to just open up to you guys really and let you guys know what's going on and yeah pretty gutted um because we both enjoy doing our live streams and we're not going to be able now to do one until saturday evening next week and ironically if i was to if i was to file a counter claim or a counter dispute whatever it is they won't even look at it for 10 days so this is the irony is even if even if i wanted to if i wanted to submit a counter claim it would take longer for our channel to be fully reinstated than it would be if i just let the seven days elapse and yeah thank you for your support guys and um yeah it's interesting <laughs> 